We've got new permanent fencing up, so we're going to go ahead and do some paddocks and some back fencing with uh, the temporary fencing today. Aiden's here to help me. And we're going to have a good time. All right. It is uh, some more fence building time. We're going to go up to where the big cows are. Where I call We're going to build it and uh, hopefully get it done today. Get the cows moved over. And we got other, some bigger helpers back there too. I think they just wore their sandals instead of their boots so they wouldn't have to help us as much. Ain't that right, AP? I made Aiden wear his boots. So we're going to go and do that and get that done. And uh, we're leaving mommy and the little one back at the house. All right, the secret of pulling any fence, of course, most of you probably already know, is just go and pull your line. So I got a line pulled all the way down there. It goes all the way down there. So it's got a line. We're gonna put the T-post on it. We're using, uh, uh, we're, I mean, we're making paddocks, but we're doing an outside uh, perimeter with this uh, poly tape. Now, since we're doing outside perimeter. We're getting this thing tight with T-post only. We're not using any fiberglass rods that are more of the temporary. We're going to use, we are going to use true T-post and that, that'll hold it in. Uh, our cows have not tested this poly tape, but you know, at the same time being that it is an out, outer burial line and perimeter line, I want to make sure that we put three, we're going to put three strands of it on there and also just have it really good and facing south to heat that line up and make sure there's no obstructions. We're going to weed eat right underneath the, uh, the line so when nothing's touching it but just pull it this is not as tight as it's going to get once we put the insulators on there we'll actually pull it tight with each pull post but just the start of it it's looking good it's burning slap up here in mississippi the humidity is like almost 100 percent so always fun to be in mississippi so we're pulling this line once we pull this outside line we've got about six or seven acre paddock right here which is too big for six or seven cows so what we're going to do is cut it in half and go straight up the middle towards the barn and that way they'll have two three and a half acre paddocks like kind of like they got now and then basically they'll eat this one side down then we'll move them right over to the other side so it's gonna be really good i think it's gonna be good for them to be on this side of the grass it's real real thick lush grass it's got some weeds in it too but a lot of that's just pure grass it's a good knee deep to thigh deep so they'll get in here and love it it's really hot and humid and starting to get dry because August is kind of our time that grass, the good grass starts getting held back. But right now this side is doing good because they've not been on it all year. So they're going to love this. They'll come in almost like bull riding, just bucking and happy. So we're going to get it set up. We'll get the other two lines on it once we get all the T-posts up. We've got about another 30 or 40 T-posts to go. And then we'll actually start connecting it and, and hooking it up. So just uh, one of the main first steps of... Uh, Make sure your lines are good. You don't have to pull a line, especially since it's temp fencing, because you can take it right back up. But you know, you want it looking good. So we're going to go ahead and pull the line. We got about seven or eight T posts this way already. And we got about five or six T posts that way. And we're going to have about 30 or 40 in the middle. And uh, it'll look good when it's all done.
<laughs> Alright, so we've got mostly all of it pulled. As you see, I've got two strands on there and I'm pulling the third one now. We're out of insulator, so I gotta get some more insulators right quick. But we're pulling the last strand now to get it tight. So we'll have three full strands. And then what we're gonna do is wrap around these trees. If you don't want trees gone, quick hint is uh, take some of this poly wire on two or three T-posts, go around that tree. Even if the tree is, uh, I mean, even though it's not lit, cows don't know that. It's our little secret. They won't ever go, they won't ever mess with that tree. So just wrap around the trees that you want to keep and save and they won't bother it. So we're gonna pull this last strand here, get some insulators on it, get the cows moved over. Well, we got them over. Look at this grass. Hey girl. Hey girl. That's Ginger. Holly's over there. But look, we got it all up. Look how good that looks. Look at the fence row. Really good. So we're gonna go and hook it up now. Actually get the solar panel on it. Split this paddock right here and we'll be ready to go. Little calf is starting to eat grass. That's good because mama's getting, mama needs her off of her. Hey girl. Alright, we finished that up. We are heading back home. It's been a long day, but we have got it all fenced. Looks good, doesn't it, today? been a long hot day it's hot in Mississippi I'm so ready for cool weather but uh I hope you enjoyed the fence video if you have any questions about putting up poly wire or, or if you trust poly wire we love it we use a, a Patriot solar charger and a Patriot poly wire half inch thick we love it it's been great we've had no problems with the cows getting out it really has been a wonderful addition to our homestead and also to the little farm here I uh, hope you had a good day if you hadn't subscribed to us please do Please share with uh, like-minded folks so we can learn everything we need to learn about homesteading and farming and, and uh, being sustainable all together. Happy homesteading, y'all.